Hi there, today we're unboxing a speaker. So this particular one is by IKEA and they have paired up with Sonos to give us the Symphonisk. So details are in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing. So the package comes in a brown box, not much detail on there, just some on the front, just giving sizing and what's included in the package. So let's open it up and see what you get in the package. Okay, so I've laid out all the items you get in the packaging, so let me quickly go through them one by one. So in terms of literature, if I open this up, you've got a sheet of paper, details of the content, how to connect it up, and the fact you use the Sonos app to control the speaker. Next, we have a quick start guide, which is multi-language and only a few pages for each language on this. Then we have a power cable, great quality on this, braided, and in terms of length, you've got 1.3 meters on there. This is the connection point there and UK plug fused as well. Next we have an ethernet cable. Length of this is one meter. Build quality of the cable is very good and nice connectors on there. Let's take a look at the speaker. So in terms of dimensions, you've got 31 centimeters here, 10 centimeters there, and the depth is 15 centimeters. Coming around the front, you've got a material finish on there. Buttons here at the bottom, light indicator there and coming underneath you've got some rubber pads there and rubber pads here on this side nothing on that side just a few recessed bits of rubber and nothing there so there's two ways to place this you can place it like this or you can place it flat down like that so both horizontally and vertically looking at the back you've got two connection points you've got an ethernet point and you've got a power cable point You've got channels as well, so two channels, one going down, one going across, so you can channel your cables along, so it can fit flush against the wall. Button quality wise, it does feel good. Initial impressions of this, build quality feels good and looks great as well. Let's make a start at setting up this speaker. So I've got the power cable here, we'll plug in at the back, and then it can be channeled this way, as I've already mentioned, or that way as well. And now it's just as simple as taking the cover off and I've got a socket at the side. I'll just plug it in there and we're ready to start using this. You can use the ethernet connection if you had one close by, but you should be able to run it straight over Wi-Fi as well. Now the speaker's plugged in, you can see there's a green light flashing on there. Next, let me go to my Android phone. If I go to the Play Store and we search for Sonos, and that's the app we're after, so if I click install, let's give it a moment. Apps installed, let's click open. All your music in one app, scroll across. Let's select set up a new system, allow location access, continue, allow only while using the app, that's what I'll go for. Bluetooth makes setup simple, let's turn it on, so let's turn on Bluetooth. Welcome music lover, let's start by creating an account to help protect the security of your system. So let me create an account. Let me enter in my details off camera and I'll continue after that. I've entered in my details, let me click create account. Now it's saying they've sent me an email so I just need to verify my email address. And there you go, so your account is set up. You can continue now. Set up your Sonos products. First, let's connect your Sonos products to your network. Then we'll customize Sonos for your home. Continue to that. What are you setting up? We'll set up your Sonos products one at a time. If you have a Sonos Boost, set that up first. Connect your product to power. And let's give it a moment and see if it picks it up. And there you go, it's found the speaker. So this is the one I want to set up. So set up this product. Set up Sonos on your Wi-Fi. Let's get Sonos running on your wireless network. Continue to that. There's my test network. Let me say use this network. So next, let me enter in my Wi-Fi password off camera. I've entered my Wi-Fi password. Let's click continue. Verifying network info. Now I've got a message asking me to press a couple of buttons simultaneously. So if I press them now, and we can hear a chime. So there you go, the speaker's added now. So let's click next. Choose a room for your Symphonics bookshelf. So let's pick Den for that one and click continue. And that's it, it's added now. So I can click not now as we don't have another product to add in. Sonos update, your Sonos products will now be updated so they can be set up and used. Let's continue to that. 
Your Sonos products are now up to date. Let's continue. Registering products. So there you go, all done. Now it's saying all your music in one app. Play music from your favorite music services by adding them to Sonos app. So you can add a music service in. So we'll just click done for now. Browse, so you can go for radio by tuning or music on this device. I'll go for music on this device. Grant it permission to scan. And looking on the app itself, We've got My Sonos here, Browse, Rooms, Search, and Settings. And there you go, it was simple as that to install the app and get the speaker connected up. Now the speaker's set up and the app's installed, let's test out playing some music on this. So very simple, obviously I've given the app permissions to my Android phone here. So if I click on Search, I can search for artists, songs, albums, etc. So if I now go to Songs, and we do a search for a track which is royalty free. There you go, there's one I've got on my phone, so if I click there, starts playing straight away. Now on my phone, if I adjust the volume, you can see it increases the volume on the speaker itself. So that's max. And now on the speaker itself, you've got three buttons. So one is a decrease volume. The other one is increase volume. And the middle is a pause and play. So very easy to get up and running with this. So as you've seen, very simple to get up and running with this speaker and play music. And the fact you can control it from the speaker as well is very useful too. Next, let's have a look around the settings you have on the Sonos app. So coming in here, you've got system. So if going in there, you can see the speaker. If I actually select the speaker and we scroll down, so obviously there's a crate pair, so you can pair two speakers together. But as well as that, you've got equalizer settings, so you can enhance the bass, the treble as well. Together with loudness, you can turn loudness option on and off. Status light, you can turn that off if you wanted to. And the touch controls, you can disable them, so they do nothing. So good functionality if you didn't want people playing around with it or you didn't want the light coming on in the background. And then you can add more products and even a bridge or the boost coming down. System settings, so you've got airplay options there, alarms, audio compression, date time, media servers, so you can connect to media servers as well, music library, networks, so you can change your network connectivity, parental controls, and you can do a system update. Now, if you were selling the device, you can then go to transfer system ownership just to release ownership from your account. Coming back, you've got services. So, voice services wise, you've got add a service. So, if I click there, I've got my Amazon Alexa and my Google Home here. So if I click on Google Assistant, set up your Google Home device to work with Sonos. So if I now click Add Google Assistant, Sonos, so before you get started, have your account info handy, click Continue, and just need to enter in my account details for my Sonos account. So let me do that off camera. I've entered in my details, let's click sign in. Next, it's asking to allow Google to control your Sonos system. Let's click OK to that. Your Google Assistant is ready to use with Sonos. Include the room name when you ask the Google Assistant to play music and done. If we now look in our Google Home app, there you go, you can see Den and again, the speakers available through there as well. So now we can test out playing via the Google Home and say, Radio Play Radio 2 on Den. Sure, BBC Radio 2 from TuneIn, playing on Den. There you go, simple as that. Stop. Excellent functionality. So you can voice control your music and play it directly onto the speaker. So let's now do the same for the Amazon Alexa. So I click that, click there, add Amazon Alexa. Just need to enable the skills so if I click there, continue on that. And let me enter in my details from my Sonos account off camera. I've entered in my account details, let's click sign in, click OK to allow it access, and continue. Okay, so it's successfully linked. Now in the Amazon Alexa app, if I click on devices, scroll across all devices, and we scroll down, and then you can see Den. And if you see there, it's a picture of a speaker, and if I click on that, 
that gives away the details that it's connected via Sonos. So the speaker has been added as part of the Alexa app. Next, let's test out the speaker with the Alexa. See if I unmute my Alexa and we say, play relaxing music in the den. The station, laid back pop, free on Amazon Music. There you go, playing directly on that. And I can change the volume level As simple as that, and I can say change den volume to maximum. There you go. Simple as that to control via voice via the Alexa. Next, looking in services, we've got music and content. If we click on add a service, you've got a number of services you can add in. So if you've got an account with these, you can just add them in and play them directly on the speaker. So as you can see, quite a few going down the list. Now let's add in a service. So if I click there, Google Play Music, add to Sonos, I already have an account. Click authorize, type in the code here, choose my account, allow it access to it, and there you go, successfully connected. Now you can listen to Google Play Music with Sonos, enter a name for you at this account. It will only be used if another Google Play Music account is added. So I'll just call this one Geek Street. Click done to that, and there you go. Now, if I go to music library, we go to playlists, YouTube, and these are the tracks I have in the cloud, so I can actually play these directly to the speaker. So if I select one of these, there you go. So interesting bit of functionality here because you could literally take your whole MP3 collection, upload it all to Google in the cloud, and then play it directly on devices like this without having to store it locally on any devices you have. It's an excellent bit of functionality to link in to other services and play on your Sonos speakers. You've got app preferences, show notifications, show app shortcuts, show lock screen controls, and if I drop down you can see things here as well. There you go, that was the item that was playing earlier. Let's close that off. Enable search history, confirm location, home screen, volume control, control from other devices, then you've got help and tips, data and privacy, and then legal. Okay, so I've had a test of playing music on the speaker and really impressed. Sound quality is very good, and in terms of clarity, the clarity is there as well. No distortion at high levels as well, so really good sound quality coming from it. Next, let's perform a sound level test on the speaker. So I've got my sound level meter here. Let's go quiet for a moment. Ambient noise levels in the room are about 35.5 decibels. Now, I've increased equalizer settings for the speaker to maximum, and volume is set to maximum as well. So if I press play now. So we're getting about 92 decibels coming from there. Okay, so you've seen the unboxing and setup of this speaker from IKEA. They've paired up with Sonos to provide a really good speaker. Build quality is good and sound quality is excellent as well. In terms of price, it comes in much cheaper than the Sonos speaker, so a real bargain here. So there you go, I hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this speaker. Details are in the description below. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.